This is a project I wanted to handle long time back. I have this cylindrical box, metallic. It is used for storage and also I keep things in it which I use while shifting houses in cities. I usually store some my fabric stash and stitching and embroidery crochet material in this. Therefore, this box stays inside the house. It has got a nice cylindrical shape and I tuck it in between the sofas to make it look like a corner table. But it came painted black in color and therefore makes the space look darker even when I put a crochet table cover on it. To hide the blackness it peeps through and I wanted to give it a fresh look so that I can still continue using it inside my home. So the first thing after a long time I've dragged it out, cleaned it and now I want to start painting. I'm using oil based white paint and I'm starting from the bottom. I believe in doing the tough things first and then doing the easy things later so that when I'm tired I can still continue and finish my project. So today is the first day morning and first thing in the morning it's a Sunday morning everybody is sleeping in the house and I took this quite time to just paint it. So the first coat of paint will not look good that's okay. I'm just going and doing a horizontal stroke on all the surfaces, cover it well. I'm going to even cover the handles and the latch with white paint. Maybe later I'll add gold paint or bronze paint to the latch and handle if I feel like because the combination of gold and white looks really beautiful. But for now I'm going to paint it all white. I have decided to paint it right in the morning so that it has the whole day to dry up and just before going to bed I can give it a second coat so that it's ready tomorrow morning. Today I'm joining Tammy from the Rusted Willow, Elizabeth from Southern Gmore Girls and this month's co-host Liza from Our Grey House for third Thursday Thrift Flip and I'm doing a furniture flip or makeover. I'll put links to the host channels and to the playlist down below. The easiest portion is the top portion to paint and now all I have to do is wait till it's dry. It's late afternoon and I have realized that the paint has dried. It's ready for the second coat. Now this time when I put the second coat, I'm going with vertical brush strokes so that whatever, you know, little bits and pieces which were showing through or the paint was thin because of the horizontal brush strokes in the first coat will get covered in the second coat. And I'll cover every surface just as the first coat. And I'm happy that it's dry by now so that post dinner, I just don't feel like working. <laughs> I just feel like relaxing with a good book in my hand or chatting with my husband and kids. I just want my post dinner time to be the most relaxing time before I go off to sleep. So I'm happy I'm able to tackle this right away before evening sets in and this will have a good amount of time to dry till morning. It's morning, I place back my cylinder back into the same corner and I'm using this beautiful crochet tablecloth made by my mother. I'm placing it over it, the white and white 
it's looking nice actually it's looking nice the designs are very much apparent because of the depth difference yet the space looks brighter now honestly this was such a small project but it has such a huge impact this space the before video was like so dark so congested the cylinder was always staring at me this box was always looking it was there as an elephant in the room but now because it's white in color it has just vanished kind of <laughs> gone magically gone so it's like so light so airy and the decor stands out and my space is small the living room is small therefore this little flip this little makeover of this little piece of furniture has done so good to my home my room my mind too thank you so much everybody for being with me through this little process of furniture flip and makeover and i hope you got a little idea to use in your home too have a blessed day